mocking is a type of embroidery that creates a delicate and fancy finish. It has been a popular embroidery technique among many people since the early days. Clover now presents Nouveau Smocking Technique, which makes smocking an easier and more enjoyable craft. It's a sticker type guiding tool for smocking. Why not add lovely smocking stitches to your clothes, bags, and home interior items such as cushions? Clover produces various items for smocking. Nouveau Smocking Technique offers four different designs of smocking stitches. Honeycomb design, diamond design, single cable design, and double cable design. Assorted sets of smocking needles, and embroidery threader suitable for embroidery needles. As for embroidery threads, we recommend Clover's Leto series that smoothly penetrates the fabric and is offered in vibrant colors. Traditionally, smocking required a detailed marking process that had taken substantial preparation time before starting the stitches. By using Clover's Nouveau Smocking Technique, you can avoid this time-consuming marking process. Simply apply the numbered stickers onto the fabric, and you can create smocking stitches quickly and easily. Let's see how to apply the numbered stickers to the fabric. Cut out the first pair of rows from the sticker sheet. Remove the paper on the back side of the film. Place the film on the fabric and rub over the numbered stickers. Carefully peel the film. The numbered stickers are now attached to the fabric. Let me introduce the four different designs of smocking stitches. Let's start with the honeycomb design. First, start stitches in the upper row printed in black. When you complete stitching in the upper row, you can move to the lower row, printed in blue. Start with the number 1 on the left, and continue stitching towards the right, following the numbers. Knot the end of the thread. Insert the needle from the back to the front side of the fabric by white triangle 1. Insert the needle by black triangle 2 and pull it out by white triangle 2. You'll always insert the needle by a black triangle and pull it out by a white triangle. As shown in the film, please make sure that the thread runs above the needle. With this mark, the thread always runs above the needle. Next, insert the needle by black triangle 3 and pull it out by white triangle 3. At this point, you can tear and peel off the upper row of the sticker and pull the thread towards the left. Tighten the thread to create a pleat in the fabric. 
Holding the pleat firmly, you can now change the fabric position to reverse the stitching direction. Insert the needle by black triangle 4 and pull it out by white triangle 1. You've already created one stitch and you can repeat making stitches this way. At last, insert the needle by black triangle 4. Tighten the thread and complete the stitches by passing the needle through the fabric to the back side and make a knot. After you complete the upper row, let's start stitching in the lower row. Knot the end of the thread and pull the needle out by white triangle 1, positioned on the left end of the lower row. Proceed with the needle towards black triangle 2. Continue stitching following the numbers just like you did in the upper row. At last, pass the needle through the fabric to the back side and make a knot to complete the stitches. You've now completed the first line of the honeycomb design.